Hey guys, uh, went to the post office today and uh, yay, my new uh, airbrush showed up. It was taking quite a while to get to me. I think they uh, shipped it by Carrier Turtle. But it was finally in the mailbox. So anyways, picked that up and uh, been raining here today. So I did some fixing as I always do on the farm here. And I figured I'd come in uh, before I went in for supper and uh, bed because it is well, almost 10 o'clock. Been some long days. So, anyways, I thought I would just try her out here. So, this is the box, and I'll show you what it all comes with. If you can't make out what it comes with on the picture there, pretty self explanatory, I know. All right, so it comes with uh, six feet of hose, the Talon airbrush this little wrench, an Allen wrench, and what they say is a airbrush holder, but I'm going to be making something different. So here is the Talon airbrush. I think it's the T3G, anyways. So, it's gravity feed, a little, it's a little bit raw for the machining in the inside, I guess, but I'm no airbrush, airbrush expert. And the one thing I noticed uh, or read was that they have kind of a proprietary thread on their airbrushes, so you have to use their hoses to hook up to it. But I think I'll be able to find some adapters and someone, I believe, sells a quick disconnect in this size, and I'm probably going to get it. And six feet of hose for me isn't that much because my air compressor is probably about that from my workstation, so that is that now we'll try it out I guess so you guys can see here as I've already knotted it up but uh, six feet of this hose isn't very much but I was actually able with some just stuff I have in the shop to rig up an adapter for that end so that I can use my long coiled hose and my air dryer that's on it water trap slash dryer I guess it's called all right so I got some uh, just regular old testers red paint out of a kit that I got and uh, got it in the talon here and uh, did some experimenting for air pressure and that which is quite a bit lower than my old airbrush um, my old airbrush to get it to even siphon the paint because it was a siphon feed you had to go about 80 psi this one i've got down about 25 so the air compressor seems to come on a lot less and i'm just kind of amazed at the you know, fine lines and stuff that you can you can make so bear with me here because i'm going to be looking through the camera and uh, trying to keep it in focus too. So. So you can go very fine. very broad being a double action so I think my weathering is going to improve greatly And where I see this being more of a benefit is when I wanted to put some rust on some on an older box car or something uh, with the rivets and stuff. You'd be able to uh, lightly go down and you know kind of make it look like the rust is forming around the rivet and then tapering off. Up, use some practice, but uh, you know, like anything, practice makes perfect, right? So, but the nice, even paint is going to make painting things like this rotary snowplow a whole lot easier, I think. So, anyways, I highly ran out of uh, storage capacity. I was saying that I would highly recommend the Pache Talon. For anybody, 
wanting a new airbrush. I got this one in the kit. That's my things go flying. But this is a Talon TG set. So if anyone's looking for a new airbrush, I highly recommend this one. Thanks for watching.